I must thank you, Captain Bolton, for bringing me on your ship. I understand that you wanted to achieve your goal of reaching the North Pole by taking a dangerous journey up north to the icy waters of the Arctic Ocean. Now that you know my full story and what I have done, whether you believe me or not, hopefully one day you'll probably see the proof that I was that I was talking about. All I can say to you <coughs> in, in my final moments that I'm gonna die with the secret that the world will never know of what of what I have done. So, Captain, I'm going to give you the decision whether to bury me at sea or to deliver my body back to my little brother, Ernest Frankenstein, in Geneva, Switzerland. <coughs> I have spent many days, many weeks traveling up north that my own creation kept leaving me note after note after note after note of having to travel north till finally I had no other option but to get to the very top of the world by dog sled. You said you saw a giant stature also on a dog sleigh. That was also moving across the the ice caps. <laughs> I have lost everything. <laughs> my best friend, Henry Clavel, my youngest brother, William Frankenstein, my beloved wife, Elizabeth Frankenstein, who lost, who lost their lives, who have lost their lives at the hands of the creature that I have created. But for my father, he died in peace. Soon after, my wife was killed. My father was old. He's had to put up with long staggering months of what has happened. <coughs> I end up saying goodbye to my brother Ernest to all of Geneva. I took whatever money and jewels that belonged to my mother to help with my journey. But now it seems that I have failed. As for my journal, <coughs> Captain, that is laying right next to me. Either you can destroy it or return it back to my brother along with me. If you decide to bury me at sea, if you decide to bury me at sea, do me a favor and destroy the journal and all that contains in it. And like I said, if you do 
return my body back to my brother Ernest in Geneva, Switzerland. Give him the journal too, but tell him. But tell him it's his decision whether to hold on to it or destroy it. Either he can hold on to it with him until his days are done on earth, or he can destroy it himself for me and all that contains. It'll be your decision what to do with me and my journal that contains all my work. <coughs> <coughs> I have sinned against God. I have gone against this laws by by creating a life of my own and the horror that it brought. But now my time has come and I have found my final peace. May God judge me. It is his call what he wants to do with me. Thank you, Captain. My time is over. Thank you. <laughs>